Starcade Hellraiser here, part two of the Anti Tower. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. Get out if you do not want 3.2 spoilers. Now, while we're doing this first pull here with a bunch of uh, mimics that basically aren't worth that much, let me do a little something here about the channel and the like. Um. I've been asked by uh, a friend of mine, probably one of the few people I trust on the subject, to kind of lay off the stupidity regarding the PvP. So I already had to delete one video that I had planned on doing. Hint, he's in this video. Hint, he bought me some of this material, including the machine, so it's like... He should have at least some sway as far as that I trust him. He does agree that, you know, a lot of that happens, but, you know, that's where it goes. So, I'll still speak my mind. We'll still have some stuff. Okay, now we're to the first real mechanic here. This door, this doorkeeper, and the fire homunculi. Two of them spawn first. There's two doors. Now, I'm not sure about the conditions of spawning more, whether you get two more when you kill the Moculi before you kill the Doorkeeper, whether two more will spawn when you kill the Doorkeeper. I'm not exactly sure how that all goes down, but at the end of the day, we just have to burn down the ads first on this first set. And of course, that did not go very well. I'll tell you right now, guys, um, just a little observation. I'm beginning to wonder if 3.2 is going to be that get good patch the Aneros and Limit Break Radios wanted. And if that's the case, the game's in trouble. I mean, I mean, you're going to see a boss at the end of this video that I don't think the filthy fucking casuals can touch. At least those who just absolutely don't know anything about mechanics. And I'll tell you right now, I did an A5. <laughs> I did an A5, and it was about 40 minutes of my life I want back. I will be more than happy to try again with a different group, but it is clear to me that... That booger's got... That booger is a mechanics fight, and a lot of people do not like mechanics fights here. It's going to be trouble. So now it's basically the other main mechanic of the trash part of the second part of this dungeon, and that is the Marlis. They really aren't too much, and neither was the other. It's one of the reasons I'm kind of talking about other stuff here, but this is not this is not the easiest of situations, and for a player base that frankly has been coddled and carried and all that kind of stuff. 3-2 could be the breaking point because you're going to hear a lot of bitching and pissing and moaning here real good and quick. You know, there has been, I believe, a decision to let the sides battle it out that for the first time in probably 12 to 18 months, the goods actually now have a voice that is being heard within the community. So this is going to be very interesting. Okay, this is the final trash situation, and as in the other two sections, it's going to have several parts that essentially are going to combine the different mechanics of at least this first, or this trash area of this second part of the fight. So, anyway, we start with uh, the that and to um, homunculi, and here come two more homunculi. There's also four doors, so that might be part of it too, but in this case, it does look like the other two homunculi spawned when the first, when the Spriggan died, so the, uh, the door watcher. So anyway, we're going through this. I mean, you know, I will say for people who have been looking to force the players to get good, there's a lot to say in this in this um, situation. And I think you are going to see within the next few weeks exactly the scenario that I feared you would. That at some point, if you are not up to snuff, you will be put before Square Enix to say, get him out of here. 
that is what I think is going to happen here with a lot of this stuff. Because I don't, because I'll tell you right now, I don't think the bulk of the casual population could clear this next fight. I really don't. I mean, I I truly believe there were two two oh sevens in this fight, and it gave us time and a half. We are not hardcores. I don't want to be a hardcore. I've seen what it takes to be hardcore. I've seen it start to develop in this game this fucking blue garden disease, and I damn well hope it doesn't take hold here. Alright, here we go. Second boss from Where Hearts Leap. It's Ziggy, the Spriggan on a Crystal. And for reasons you will see in a second, it looks like this this thing was named maybe about a month ago or so. It has a small conal AoE jittering glare, but here comes the fun part. It's Ziggy Stardust. It's the David Bowie fight. And here's the mechanic that could really cause trouble. This is from Lost City. This is, excuse me, Ampador Keep Hard. Lost City of Ampador Hard is actually in 3.2. But basically, so you have that, so that'll go off. You don't want that overlapping or over the whole zone. Now somebody gets the Anchag situation from the Anchag fight from one of the other dungeons. So he has to get behind the rocks, but Ziggy's going to take care of those rocks one at a time. And force... And force more fun. I mean, this is not an easy fight. I do not see the casuals who basically won't avoid anything and won't pay attention. I don't see them succeeding. I mean, now you've got four of these rocks that are... Four of the Stardusts that are now on the table. And oh, by the way, now we're going to throw a couple of spare Spriggans in there to say hello to you. I mean, if I'm a Nero and I probably think he's doing his 3-2 stream right now, I am jumping for fucking joy. I am jumping for fucking joy if I'm a Nero Gregory. If I'm Nate Bender right now, I am jumping for fucking joy. Because I will tell you right now, and I mean this... This could be the patch that could end up testing my, testing my theory as to whether Get Good will kill this game. I'll tell you right now, I think there has been a big move toward forcing quality of gameplay to clear content. You know, for example, I kind of misstepped in front of Ziggy a couple of times and ended up um, taking a couple stacks of... Of down, so it's a lot of, uh, excuse me, of, uh, a vulnerability down or something, and it's, or vulnerability up, I should say, but, you know, one of the things I begin to wonder, since this is obviously the David Bowie fight, why didn't you just make that called Serious Moonlight or something? Well, let's dance, Ziggy, let's dance. literally beyond there because you're going to take a damage, you're going to take a, a dot situation until you get a rock between yourself and there. Vulnerability up. There we go. Sorry about that. Now I take Shyrene Glare because I'm not caring, paying attention. This is not an easy, you know, this is not an easy fight. It, oh. I think Square Enix made a statement in this patch. How much of one we're going to have to see, because I'm sure that the the catered casuals are going to have a shit fit over this entire patch, because this is not this is not the FF14 they've been accustomed to. Now, I remember there was somebody actually doing. Uh, shouting in one of the places where I was about that Yoshida, I think it was in a Frontlines match, about, you know, Yoshida's mission to cater this game to the casuals. But to me, and this might test the theory that um, the likes of Kahlo and Nero have regarding, you know, giving the... giving the 
good. Oops. Uh, both DBS die, and now here comes the next bunch of Stardust, and I'm thinking, we're in trouble here. But to get back to my point, while they're raising me, um... I really think that this patch is going to have a lot to say about what's going to end up here with whether the goods are going to get content because because this is definitely a case where the goods have an upper hand at this content because of what they're doing. It is clear they are seriously upping the difficulty of this game across the board in this patch. Look at this fight. You think that a lot of these, you know, FFCs are going to be able to do jack in this fight? You got to deal with the Anchak. You got to deal with you got to deal with the Anchak effect. You got to deal with a lot of that. You got to deal with the AOEs, and I'm having a little bit of a problem with. And let me say this right now: I did the DPS of the Hall, of the novice. That none of that's going to help. That's not going to help. That is not going to fucking help, and I'm saying that publicly. But I mean, we're looking at this, and you know, it, this is not an easy fight. It's one of the reasons I'm kind of glad that you know I got Arj to do that, Arj to do this with me because this is not easy. And I do begin to wonder what we're going to have in this game once this kind of first wave of, you know, poop suckers and all that kind of stuff are done. I mean, it's going to be a very interesting patch. And Nero's Theory may get tested. But what I fear is that it's going to come at a very heavy price. We defeat Ziggy with quite a bit of difficulty. <laughs> and I said, oh, this is going to cause hard bitching. And rest in peace, David Bowie. So anyway, that's part two. Part three is forthcoming. Starcade Hellraiser. With more 3.2 coverage.